St. Johns County parents have a chance to weigh in on the school rules. The district sent out messages to families asking them to share their thoughts on the student code of conduct. News for Jackson reporter Joe McLean live at Bartram Trail High School. So Joe, parents are being asked to fill out this survey. Right, and this uh, message that was sent out to all families last night, it links to that survey. It's got 14 questions. It takes uh, parents through the student code of conduct and asks them which parts they agree with or disagree with. But this comes up just a few months after the district sent out another survey, which led to major changes to the district's dress code. This is the survey sent out to families in the St. Johns County School District. It asks parents what grade their child's in and then moves through each section of the student code of conduct with parents filling out how much they agree or disagree with each one. Finally, it allows parents to type out any issue they have with the code and why. The district posts surveys like these from time to time, but in this case, a spokesperson said that the St. Johns County School District used its mass notification system in order to boost participation. This survey method for feedback was also used by the district back in July, when leaders were working to address widespread frustration over the dress code. Many said the policy's text and its enforcement disproportionately affected girls. It's something several parents say still needs to change. The stress coding concept needs to stop because it doesn't do anything productive for anybody and it's harmful mm -hmm. and unnecessary. The district's dress code practices are the subject of an ongoing federal Title IX investigation, which was launched last year after issues with the Bartram Trail High School yearbook. Photos of many female students then were digitally altered to appear more modest, something the district admitted was a mistake, and it spurred an overhaul to much of the dress code. I do think progress was definitely made um, in the way that the dress code is worded um, so that it does not target specific genders and those areas were definitely addressed, but I don't think we're all the way because we have not improved the enforcement piece. The results of this survey will be released to the public, but the timing will depend on how many submissions come in. Now, uh, St. Charles County families have until April 8th, the end of business on April 8th, to take that survey before it closes down. And the results are going to be used by the school board to uh, determine if and what changes will be made to the student code of conduct this year. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.